Morgan, first off, Barrett Fletcher on Tuesday night. How much did you enjoy being a part of that match? Um, yeah, I loved it. I think it was definitely needed. I think the crowd definitely deserved it. The fans were sticking by us in, in a difficult period, and I think our home form has been pretty good since the new manager came in. So I think it was just putting that all together and then and then getting goals that we that I think we needed, but we didn't quite get from the last few games, and then obviously it all came out at once. But yeah, it was nice to be involved in the atmosphere and the surrounding of the pitch, and the, that day was yeah, it was a good night. Some great performances across the park individually. You yourself up top with, with Jerry because of the injury crisis really up front at the minute. How much do you enjoy playing more centrally? Um, yeah, I liked it. It's different. I'm not, I'm not really used to it, but yeah, I liked playing up front with Jez. It's, he's easy to play with, you know. You just kind of bounce off him and kind of go with it a bit. And yeah, I, I enjoyed it and hopefully more to it. To score six goals in a game is no mean feat. How much confidence can Sad take from that? Yeah, I think massive. I think especially the position we're in, um, I think it's... It's definitely needed that lift around the place and I think the fans and we all bounced off each other and I think yeah, it, was a, it was a good good result and it was definitely needed so hopefully we can we can push that forward now. Another home fixture this weekend with Coventry City coming to Bloomfield Road, another good chance for back-to-back -back victories really, how important could that be? Yeah, it could be massive I think, especially the situation we're in and the teams around us, I think two big wins would be massive, especially at home and I think we're going to try and replicate what we did the other night and the same again, we're at home in front of our car our crowd again and I think yeah we're definitely looking forward to it especially after that after that last performance. And you've been here personally two months now, are you enjoying it all settled in? Um yeah I've loved it since I've come in obviously. I've I've got on with the players straight away. On the pitch hasn't always been easy but it's been challenging in a different way that I haven't experienced before so it's been having to deal with that and having to manage it and having to be to be ready and to try and impact impact the game as much as possible and almost the wins mean so much more because they're not always as maybe Often as they have been, if you're at the top of the end, so it, they're a big win. They're just as big and just as important, especially so that feeling after the game the other day was massive, and we want to replicate that as much as possible. Yeah, that was uh, Morgan Rogers there. Again, I suppose for him, he's he's coming into this team, and I mean, he again just looks a different player. Confidence. He's running around every throw in he wants to take. Again, just something different, I suppose when when we're scoring goals and he's involved in a lot of it. Yeah, look, I think Morgan was brilliant. Um, again, a big presence in the dressing room um, for, for a young lad. He's, um, you know, certainly likes to talk. And, but no, <laughs> he's, been, he's been great. Um, his football and background speaks for itself. He's, he's played at Man City, you know, mm. you know, it's unbelievable academy and things like that. And obviously long moves and stuff like that, um, where he's played a lot of games. And I think coming here, um, you know, he showed the other night on Tuesday the quality that he has. Look, unfortunately, I've had to mark him. <laughs> in training up until now, like um, whether we're playing small sided games or, or bigger games and stuff like that, as uh, playing on the right and he's playing on the left, it's certainly mm -hmm. a battle that you know I didn't look forward to doing. So, um, but look, I think he showed that on Tuesday. He showed his quality. Um, I think it was important for him, especially coming on in Bristol, obviously in, in not so nice circumstances mm -hmm. with guys getting injured. But I think when Morgan got the full game really to to express himself, and I think he certainly had some good opportunities there on Saturday, and then kind of brought that form and. That I suppose just intention to, to, to go and score and kind of I think he showed that certainly um, as I said the other day and, and he was brilliant. And he's another he's another one of our players that's a match winner, technically you know it's it's a, a player that can make things happen can you know take it round a couple of players take those players out and I suppose we've got plenty of those in the squad now. Yeah, I think you know when you look around the squad certainly it's. Um, you look at the other day with defenders chipping in with goals as well. Yeah. That's that's vitally important. And then and then you look at the likes of Jez Morgan. They're they're obviously game winners, match winners yeah. in themselves. You know, but I think that over reliance sometimes on, on the forward players can, can sometimes kill you. So I think sometimes when you have defenders and, and I suppose wing backs and stuff like that chipping in with goals, that's vitally important because then all the pressure is not just on the striker because. We saw on Tuesday, you know, Morgan didn't get in the score sheet, but how much more yeah. else he did for the team, you know. Um, certainly for me, taking thrones and stuff like that, he's certainly constantly looking for the ball, mm. constantly making moves in behind, stuff like that. So, um, and probably creating gaps, is he, for you? Like you say, you know, players that might not score, but are, are possibly underrated, but they are creating those gaps. So, like I say, they're moving, the, the pace, I say the movement is allowing maybe you as a wing back just to see those gaps in and I say you're getting the goals or getting the assists yeah 100 percent. I think like when I look back at the game the other day like you look at the first goal the chance comes from from Morgan first of all hitting the shot it comes back and then obviously win the penalty from that mm. so it's about Morgan being in the right position him getting them positions to score 
um, another day there might even be a defender there and it goes in. The second goal he plays a little link pass into, into CJ who pulls it back to me. Um, but he's he's actually brought out a centre back there, yeah. um, and that centre back's position is, is nearly left a space for me to go into nearly. Mm. So, again, it's something that people don't see um, when you're looking from afar. You're probably just seeing the ball go on the back of net and seeing who scored it, and then you're going, "Oh, brilliant! That was a great goal." But sometimes you don't see the little details where where Morgan comes off the play, links it, and then essentially leaves the leaves the space for me to go into, and then and then obviously we score. So um, yeah, look, them little details are obviously massively important, and you hit the post down the other end and. But again, it's it's not about the goals. It's about everything else they did the other day. It was was fantastic. Yeah, he was great. Um, Got to be looking forward to Saturday, aren't you? And uh, you know, I know so, you must have had some great messages on social media. I've seen some myself. You know, a lot of Irish flags seem to be on there. <laughs> Blackpool posts at the moment, which is great. But um, yeah, you've got to be looking forward to Saturday, aren't you? Back here. Yeah, I think the the, the real sense of optimism certainly. Um, you know, I think from the moment I made my debut here, I could feel the the kind of love and the passion from the fans, um, the kind of atmosphere that's created here is, is never an easy place to go for, for opposition teams. Like So, um, yeah, it's something we're, we're relishing, really looking forward to. And I think it's one of those old sayings that, you know, when, when there's a game on Tuesday, the, the next game can't come quick enough. Mm-hmm. And I think that's certainly the case here where it's like, you know, we're really looking forward to the game. Um, but we, we've got to respect the opposition as well. And we know how good they've been this year. They've been flying. Um, and yeah, look, we know it's going to be another tough test, as every game is in this league, um, as QPR the other day. Um, as I said, they beat Watford the weekend before. So that's just that's just the way the league is. Every yeah. game is a tough game. Um, and yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to the game on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. That's not all. Sign in Tangerine TV to watch the rest.